Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be spray painting these two paper towel rolls and these eight pieces of wood blocks with my silver metallic spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot. Next, I'm gonna to attempt to use only this Crafter Square glitter paint to see how it looks. And if I don't like it, then I'm gonna use the Mod Podge with the silver glitter. So far it looks okay, but I'm gonna go on ahead and use that Mod Podge and silver glitter mixture. I'm focusing on mainly painting the sides since the rest of the wood block will not be showing. If you are going to recreate this, make sure you stand your paper towel rolls upright so they can dry in one setting. For this next step, I'm applying that same mixture to these ornaments that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Now that my paper towel roll is dry, I'm going to use some of this metallic tape to decorate it. I'm just following along the visible line that's already on the paper towel roll. I didn't put glue along the entire lines. I just put down enough so my tape can stick and don't come off. If you are following along, you should have something that looks like this, and I'm gonna take that same tape and follow this visible line. Glue was simply not needed for this step since the tape adheres to the Mod Podge very well. I purchased these small circle mirror tiles from Amazon a while ago and I'm just going to glue a few to my ornament. I mainly covered the front since the back will be up against the wall. For this next step, I'm taking these two Dollar Tree mirrors and I'm going to clean them off before proceeding. Moving right along to my wood blocks and I'm just going to glue two together. Now I'm taking my blocks and I'm going to glue them to the center of my mirrors. Now I'm adding some of these clear acrylic gems to my ornament. I didn't fill it all the way up to the top, but just over half full. Next, I'm feeding these LED lights through my ornament. I wanted to make sure everything was distributed evenly, so I will put the LED lights in and then I will do the acrylic gems and so on. I'm just folding this part here to keep it out of the way and then I'm going to put a small piece of this tape over the ornament to keep the lights and the gems inside. So now that I got everything together, I'm taking my battery pack and I'm feeding it through the paper towel roll. I had to put a little glue on the battery pack to keep it inside the paper towel roll. I'm adding more glue to adhere my ornament to my roll and then I'm going to cover up the visible glue with my diamond wrap. I 
I like how these turned out. They are very unique. These can be used as indoor wall sconces or outdoor wall sconces. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. For this next project, I'm going to be using two of these 8x10 canvases that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I'm creating a simple mixture which consists of Mod Podge, craft paint, and also silver glitter. I'll also be using a foam brush to mix everything up. I don't know if y'all notice, but this silver craft paint gives off a shore blue color but once it's dry, it definitely turns silver. This mixture only consists of the Mod Podge and the silver glitter. I did not put the silver craft paint in the mixture. This canvas turned out exactly how I wanted. I wanted some white color left in the background. I'm using my ruler that I purchased from Dollar Tree to keep my sticker letters perfectly aligned. I'm putting my letters in place first before gluing them down. I'm using more of that metallic tape and I'm putting a little glue across the top to keep the tape in place. Now I'm gluing another strip of tape in the center of my canvas. To add some more definition, I'm gluing a strip of this pearl wrap on each side of the tape. If you are wondering, this pink cap is from the Dollar Tree and it is used to protect your fingers from the hot glue. I'm using more of those circle mirror tiles and I'm just going to glue a few to the bottom part of my canvas. I'm placing six of these gems at the bottom of my letters and also at the top, totaling to 12 gems. I'm using my ruler to make sure my gems are as straight as possible. These turned out cute. They're perfect for your bathroom, work area, or even your glam area. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. And don't forget to like and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.